Hey guys, this is Maru again. I want to go through a Roger Federer video in slow motion. You know, I'm a fan of the slow motion videos. I think that we can get a lot of tips. There is so much to learn from the things that we cannot see on TV because it's just the game happens so fast and we don't get to see a lot of this kind of footage where they are sometimes at court level or, or behind the player or close ups. This one is um, Roger is towards uh, his his back is towards us, so we're seeing him. It's like we're watching him practice on on the court, you know, and and we're on his same side, um, right behind him. This is uh, I really like this footage because uh, there is so just so much stuff that we can get out of it. Um, I hope you enjoy it, guys. I get it's it's as interesting uh, for you as it is for me and okay well let's go let's go through it um the first thing we're gonna see is roger uh about to hit a forehand there um he's getting ready and there are several things that we're gonna go through that i that that, that i want that i, I want to talk about one thing here is as as you can as you as you'll notice his his lower body is almost open stance you know and sometimes you know that most of the times are going to be probably 45 degrees you know like not really up completely open stance but his body is almost in you know um the angle with his legs he's almost pointing straight forward towards the net the upper body you can see it's a straight line from shoulder to shoulder so his chest is well to the side the arm if the arm if he was standing by the service line by the baseline sorry see his arm will be even pointing this way so that can that makes him that make that's to make sure that he has turned his upper body and as um we cannot see it here but it's obvious to think that his chin is very very close to his to his shoulders so all that is something that is that you want to pay attention that your upper body is going to rotate pretty much 90 degrees or completely to the side so you can accelerate and go hit with the shoulders and the hips as, as well. Um, we're also going to notice that um, as you can see his his racket his racket is is kind of is kind of pointing forward a little bit upward and forward so that's going to help him create that snap um to create a, a spin and power on the forehand there okay so that's right there the racket position that's what that is what they call um tap the dog when he gets in when he gets the racket in in this position here and um when he gets a racket in position and he is about to make contact with the ball okay there is the flip or the snap arm extended okay this is this is an important thing to notice the racket is parallel to the ground his contact is not right on the stomach, but is but but is more or less around the area. They usually tell you try to make contact around the stomach. That's where we make better contact with the ball. So he's he's it's pretty it's pretty close. There is pretty it's pretty good. His head is still looking at the, he he's still looking at the ball. He's keeping his eyes on the ball still. So that's one thing, and he's keeping his head still while he's hitting at the ball that is very that's that's a very important thing to keep the balance to keep your balance to keep control and also to make good solid contact centered in 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 your strings so um this is something that i want you to notice guys really quick in his forehand after he makes contact give me a second let me go back uh, uh, there is something that i wanted to show you really quick or all right let's see right at contact there okay if if we had a if we had if we had a camera up here you know look and and and, and that camera was 
kind of we were able to look down at his position so Roger what, what we will see is that Roger is here the the angle of his arm and the racket it will be his arm here and the racket in that position right um, the, let's say this is a chest he's facing forward this is the arm and this is the racket that's the angle that he has here you you're gonna notice that when after he makes contact what's gonna happen is that his arm is gonna come around but it's mostly from the forearm forward that is gonna start coming this way his elbow is not gonna move he's gonna move with the body of course but this is this is mostly the part that comes around first from the forearm forward coming around the um, the body and that's what helps accelerate the acceleration of the racket and the creation of the spin and the speed as as well so you're gonna see this is what you want to pay see he made contact the rackets closed not completely closed but he doesn't do the windshield wiper the racket is not pointing forward let's say it's more or less also like a 45 degrees there and and the but you can as you can tell he already turned he's already turning around and the elbow is something that is not going to move so fast together the whole you know with the whole arm and and the racket they don't go together it's more the forearm and mostly the tip of the racket is what comes around right after contact comes around first to create the spin and to create speed and that's what we that we're talking about there now if if you if you remember when he was ready to hit his chest was his chest was pointing that way his shoulders were aligned and his chest was pointing that way and now after contact he has rotated the body all the way around and he's going to end up pointing more the chest is that way i mean he's going through the ball that is real that is very important when you're hitting the ball especially when you're far back because that's going to help you hit a shot that is higher that it has more depth and can have more spin more heaviness on on, on the shot all the way around racket he was pointing the coming this way all the way around Okay, let's go through some through one through the backhand here. He's getting ready, and you're gonna notice that he's gonna his left elbow. His left elbow, he's gonna keep it not really high, but it's gonna stay high. That's gonna help him keep the racket pointing up, which is gonna help create the leverage to create a snap or the flip to, to hit the ball now his face is facing forward as well as the face of the racket as he as he keeps moving you're gonna notice that he's gonna cock the wrist let me check something really quick here okay let's check this out he's gonna cock the wrist here He's keeping the elbow high, not not at shoulder height, because that will be probably too much, but just high enough to keep the racket sta uh, standing straight or pointing up. One important thing is when he's turning, he doesn't bring that racket back with the hand. Look at the hand here. If you pay, if you if you check check this out, he's got a hold of the grip. Would you see that? it's kind of there is kind of an like an opening like he's not really not really holding that racket very tight that means that his hand is relaxed that means that he's not bringing the racket back with the with the right arm or with the right hand which will create stress in the body he's using more the rotation of the body from the position where he was standing he's already turned you see the the, the chest is already pointing to the side the shoulders already turning and as he keeps moving back as he keeps keeps turning you're gonna notice you're gonna notice that what's gonna happen is that is this arm 
that brings that racket a little further back but it's very important to pay attention to that thing of the hand because you're gonna notice you're gonna notice you're gonna notice when when his hand grabs the racket a little tighter and that's when he makes the shot You see that now he's gonna better uh, get a better hold of the grip. Racket drops. He starts pulling the with the right hand. He's going. He's leading with the with the with the butt cap. So the the head of the racket is coming around, and I want you to pay attention. He starts pulling with the right hand, and you want to pay attention where he's gonna make contact with that ball. And there we have it, more or less stomach height. This arm is going to, you're going to notice that the arm doesn't come around. He's going to keep it there and it's going to help with the counterbalance. You also want to pay attention to his head. He doesn't move his head because he wants to make sure he hits the ball solid. He wants to keep the balance. And when he when he finishes his chest, his arms, see, he, they're, they're, his chest is sticking out. That is very important. That is something that is going to help you put a spin on the shot and it's going to help you with the control as well. You want to make sure that you end up with your chest sticking out at least a little bit and this arm, the left arm stays behind you because that's going to help you keep the balance. I want to show you something really quick, that, something that we need to pay attention is the hips. A lot of people get too much into turning the hip, the hips. I rather focus more on the rotation of the shoulders, especially on the one-handed backhand or, or the two-handed backhand. Your, your hips should not rotate too much. As you're going to notice here, let's see. This is where he starts with the, with the hips. As he rotates, and he finishes the stroke, See that's and that's that's something that that's something that you want to pay attention. See how the, the hips are are pointing to the side, not too much. So from the from the spot where he started, from where he started when he was about to hit from here to where he finishes, see the hips don't rotate that much. But instead, look at the shoulders. From here to here. See, pretty much from the side, from pointing to the side to pointing all the way forward. There. So that's why right. you don't want to pay too much attention to the hips. You want to be careful with that. Because it's it's a lot of people, what they do is that they start with the hips first and gonna throw you off balance and it's gonna throw you off with the shoulders, the rhythm with the shoulders as well. Focus more on the rotation, more natural, more and, and more going with the shoulders there. All right guys, well that's that's it for today. I'm sorry it was a little way longer than I expected. It's just it's so much that we can see and and i'm sure i'm still missing stuff that i didn't you know that that some of you or many of you will see but th those are just things that um i wanted to talk about i hope you like it guys and well if there is and you know you have any suggestions anything let me know um, 
Stay centered, be bold, and be perseverant, guys.